Nirvana, Metallica, Tom Petty, Fleetwood Mac, Rage Against the Machine, and countless others. What these bands have in common? The sound of a legendary studio in Los Angeles called Sound City Studio. UAD captured those amazing sounding rooms, the mic collection, the signal path, some of the most iconic outboard gear they had, the sound of that console, and put it in one plugin. Today we take a look at Sound City Studio by UAD. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below. In there, you will find the link to UAD Sound City Studio. Free plugin, special discounts and offers. And if you haven't already, please go check out the new website, mixfesttv.com. In there, you will find all the new mix and mastering courses the old one as well, including the latest two releases, Mixing Hip Hop and EDM 2023, and soon to be released, Mixing Rock 2023. In there, you can also book mix consultations, private lesson, mix and mastering production, and a lot more. And if you want to up your mix and mastering skills, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, and access all the exclusive members only video. And if you enjoy the content, you want to support the channel, please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Let's get to the video. All right, UAD Sound City Studio. This is the GUI as we open the plugin. So it's got the graphics of the actual rooms. You will see many rooms in this plugin. First of all, this is not just a reverb or a room simulation. It's much, much more. In fact, I won't start from the top where we have all the sources that you can select, but I will start from the sub menu that is here on the right. In fact, here, as you open this panel, you will see that you have close mic, room one, room two, and master. These control will change based on the source that we'll select and the type of room. If we click this button here, we have the additional processing. That's why in the intro I said they didn't just capture the room and this is not just a simple impulse response of the room. We have the classic equalizer of the iconic console. We have the dynamics. Now this one is a little gem on its own. In fact, it's not just an emulation of a compressor or two. We have six modes, crush, air, encode, gated, bus, and 1176LN. Of course, a couple you can figure out. 1176LN is the classic revision E that they were present, the sound CD. But this is also the first ever emulation of a unit that was used and abused as sound CD, which was the Dolby A301 noise suppressor, which was this EQ multiband limiter that was used so many times as sound CD. You will hear this in action. And then we have, of course, the chamber with different microphones, KM84, R121, or RE50. We have a pre-delay amount, three settings for long, mad, and short. This is the decay of the reverb and the width. On the right, we have an overall pre-delay, a mix knob, which as you can see right now, if I try to move it, it doesn't because this plugin has two modes, remic and reverb right here. So if I click on reverb, you can see the solo button gets disengaged and I can actually mix inside the plugins my dry and wet signal. This is because in this mode, we would be using Sound City just for the reverb, although we'll still have all the extra processing on that signal. But Remic is a totally different mode, which we'll see in a minute. Mono, channel swap, bypass, and master fader. You can, of course, engage or disengage each individual module. You can actually move them if you like to have a different routing for them. So for example, if you want to squeeze the chamber, you would put dynamic after. If you want to EQ after everything, you put the EQ at the bottom. So this is very cool. You can also engage or disengage the modules from this little menu here. Room, same thing. And these are the two view modes. With this plugin, you can select the source. So if we look at the top, we had drums. And for drums, we have live type corner, acoustic, live type piano, Guitar, electric guitar with simulation of guitar amps, 4x12 live, tight, 2x12 live and tight, vocals, solo or group, ensemble, horns and string. And you can see right now I'm in acoustic live. If I change the horns, the room changes, okay? If I go to vocals, again, a different room, a different setup. Amp, and we have the little amp there, drums, same thing. Different positions and most important, different microphone. That's the one thing that I like the most about this plugin, how good the simulation of the microphones are. I have experience with every single microphone using this plugin, and they are so very realistic when you change the microphone model. Now, notice something. Right now, I'm in 
uh, drum tie. If I go in drum corner, this is the famous Tom Petty wood corner, you will see that also my drum microphone selection changes, right? I go back to tie, you see? I have a whole different bunch of microphones than if I go to corner. And same if I go on ensemble horns, again, I have a whole different array of microphones available. That's very cool, but it doesn't end here because of course you can move these microphones. And I'm gonna stop talking right now, go to acoustic live and play this acoustic guitar and start running some audio through it and also show you how I set up each individual room and each individual microphone. So for now, I'm gonna disengage all the processing, okay? No EQ, no dynamics, no chamber, just straight up the microphone only. And we're gonna start with the difference between re-mic mode and reverb mode, okay? So with re-mic mode, we re-record basically going through the Sound City chain, whatever material we are feeding to the plugin. So the close mic will actually be an emulation of the microphone or microphones, because for example, if I use the C12, it's gonna be a mono mic and you can see I can move it. I can either drag the stand or move this knob here. I'm gonna bypass all the rooms right now using re-mic mode and I'm gonna play you the acoustic guitar with the plugin bypassed first. Okay, very dry in your face. This was probably a DI guitar. If I unbypass and we are using the C12 with no additional processing. That's that top end of the C12, all right? Let's scroll C12, C414 and 77DX ribbon mic. So C12 first. So the fact that these three microphones give you a completely different perspective, and this is probably 10% of what this plugin can do, it's pretty darn cool. But one thing to notice also is that you can select the patterns in the microphones that offer the option. For example, C12, you can put it in cardioid mode or you can put it in omni mode. Let's hear the difference. And we are switching to the C24 because of course it can have the Omni pattern. So for each channel, let's go back to the C12. We can move the microphone. We have filters. We can invert the phase and of course we have a balance knob. So let's say I like this microphone for the close mic. Let's set up the room number one. So for this one, I'm gonna disengage the close, put the room one on and start with the C12, which probably is not gonna be my microphone of choice because we are already recording the close with it, but we're gonna listen to it. U67. Beautiful, and you saw we went from a C12 mono room mic to a U67 stereo pair, KM54. It gives you such a different picture that is gonna be easy to place elements in the mix based on the mix. Is this the guitar background arrangement or is a vocal and acoustic guitar song where the guitar is right in front of you? Let's say for this one, I wanna try close mic with the either 54 or U87. Let's hear them together. I like the 54 
I want this guitar to be like kind of pop-ish. So a C12, very bright, a little bit of room, stereo. And then let's see the room number two. I'm gonna get the far big room sound from this one. So let's hear U67 first. Nice, I like U67 in Omni mode. Now let's hear how they sound all together. They're a little boxy, right? So let me try to filter. Let me try inverting the phase of this room too. It gets rid of the low end, maybe a little too much, so I have two choices here. I can either, new function that I didn't mention, try to align the room mics, either room one or room two, or all together, or any combination. All right, I think I like this one with room number two aligned. Now let's go into the processing. So I have the equalizer. In this case, I want to try to cut a little bit of that low mid. I'm gonna cut a little bit of 700, I'm gonna cut a little bit of 16K. Actually, I like it better at 12, just a little bit. And then let's see what happens with the low end. I'm not mad at this slight bump. Uh, shelf S60 and I want to show you the dynamics with drums instead of with acoustic guitar because I think it's gonna be easier for you but we're gonna give this thing a try nonetheless. Right now I'm exaggerating the settings so you can hear it in action. Okay obviously this is a crush right we have air And of course you would use this by injecting a little bit of this into the dry signal. We have encode. Nice thickening. Gated, this is definitely for drums. Bus. beautiful soft smooth compression and then we have 1176 LN they had revision E was the famous pair which again you probably want to use it in mix mode unless you want to squash a reverb you can use this one in reverb mode instead of using it as an insert as I have it right now you can put it on a sand and just use reverb mode leave the mix all the way wet just gonna use bus for this and just gonna inject a little bit and then we have the reverb the chamber I should say and we have three microphones KM84 R121 and R850 so I'm gonna engage it I'm gonna boost the amount so we can hear the different microphones I'm gonna put the DK in med
pretty big difference, huh? Without, again. And with. Now, if we go in reverb mode instead, we have a mix knob that is now functioning here in the master section. And we still have all our microphones here, but listen to, even if I leave it at 100% wet, how the sound changes because we are not re -miking. We are not re-recording. So keep an eye up here. Okay, we don't have the dry signal, right? And we use the mix knob to inject our dry signal in because in this case, we are using this plugin as a reverb, as a room emulation. If you go all the way wet and we listen to the close mic, much different than with the remic. Possibilities are endless. I want to do drums. And now with the plugin, so I'm going to use it in reverb mode and I'm going to scroll through the three different uh, presets, so to speak, three different rooms so you can hear the difference. So the first one is live. All right, let's play with the drum room for a second. So we got a close mic. Let's see how that sounds. Huge change in low end, right? When I move the microphone closer, let's keep it far. Okay, it's mono. I'm just gonna put it down in level this one. I'm more interested in the rooms. C12, this is mono. Nice, KM54. Let's inject the dry signal and see how it sounds together. That is a nice sound. Listen to the low end. Dude, this is uh, it's the first time I try this on drums like this and with this setup. This might be the closest, the more realistic room, fake room sound for a drum I've ever heard. This low end is crazy. Oh, U67, my favorite here in this room number one. Let's set up room number two. I like the 54, let's hear how they sound with the 67. That 84 though has a little bit of a slight slap back and you can see in fact you cannot move uh, the 84, they are a fixed placement. So I think I like this. When you try to put fake 
dr uh, rooms on drums that are very dry. You always struggle with the flaming and the early reflections that kind of takes the sharp transient away from you know the dry signal. This doesn't do that. I I love it. I really love it. Uh, let's go to the equalizer, to the outboard module here. I just want to show you the dynamics with the drums. It's, it's going to be more revealing. So crush first. That is so mean. Air, which is not really fitting this one, but it's still. Encode. Listen to the release of this encode. It reminds you of what, about 50 to 100 albums that had this kind of pumping effect. Love it. And gated, finally we can hear it. That snare sound, again, that we heard a million times. And then we have bus. And 11.76. We have a general pre-delay here. So if you want to separate from the source, you can do that. And notice that if I change room and I go to, from live to corner, I keep all my settings here and also all my balances on the mixer. So that's very cool. So I'm going to go tight and I'm going to add a little bit of reverb here of the chamber. I like the R21. I like that they put extra steps between, you know, settings here for the DK. Very, very cool. Well, this thing is freaking impressive. I want to try last because uh, the video is probably long already, but I'm actually liking this thing very, very much. To be honest, way more than I expected to like. Uh, there are other plugins in the same fashion. I was never particularly uh, fond of any of them or blown away. So let's try this on vocals. We're gonna go vocals solo. And this is the voice without anything. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. So right now I'm remiking, right? So with remiking sounds like this. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. On vocals, I'm not sure if I would use the remic to be honest, because it's not a microphone emulator like other plugins are like, so a, a mic swap. It's still room number one. It's a close room, but it's still a room. So I would definitely use this on vocals in reverb mode. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Baby, it's 
nothing you did So stop talking stupid We gave it a taste, now it's done I'm all for self-healing You ain't got that feeling That is crazy. I only heard it for a second, but how realistic this is. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse. Without. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. That is crazy, man. <laughs> that is the most realistic. I'm about to put a singer in a studio room that I've ever heard. That's really nice. There's nothing else to say. Let me add just a, a little bit of compression to this. I'm just going to go with bus very light. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. And a little bit of chamber. I'm just gonna go along with this. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did, so stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste, now it's done. I'm out for self-healing, you ain't got that feeling. I am the one that I love. It sounds freaking awesome. I am, I was not expecting, I do not. I was not expecting to like this thing this much. And uh, yeah, it, it is very cool. It is a really well done, realistic room emulation. And uh, I'm dragging this video way too long, but just at last one, bear with me. We are gonna listen to a guitar with the actual guitar amp because we have that. So you already know how it works. So just to test this, this is the guitar without anything on it. And this is the guitar with the 4x12 Live. And I'm remiking, by the way. Oh. Well, what can I say? Well done, UA. This is a really cool plugin. This guy is definitely gonna end up in my mixes. The link with a discount to Sound City Studio is gonna be in the info box down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please go check out the new website. All the mix and mastering courses are there. And you can book mix consultation, private lesson, mixing and mastering, and so on. Click the join button down here, become a member, access the exclusive content. And if you like the channel, please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch and support Mix Buzz TV. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up. up.